Ponsford County, 911, where is your emergency? Uh, my house. What's the address? 152 River Creek Lane. Okay, what's the emergency? Uh, I just killed my mom and my sister. What? I just killed my mom and my sister. You just killed your mother and your sister? How did you do that? Uh, I shot him with a uh, 22 revolver. And what is your name? Jake Evans. Jay Evans. Jake Evans. Are you sure they're dead? Yes. Okay. I want you to stay on the phone with me, okay? Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Hold on just a minute. Where is the gun? Uh, it's on the kitchen counter. Okay. It's a 22? Yes. Okay. Hold on. Jake, hold on. Stay on the line with me, okay? All right. Jake? Yes? Are you on any kind of medication? No. Well, I, uh, I've i been going to the allergist a lot lately. Yeah. My mom. But no, nothing other than that. Okay. How old are you? 17. You don't take any other kind of medication? I mean, other than like Zyrtec and like Advil and, you know, like do the head and stuff like that, you know, for the allergies and headaches, but yeah. no. Okay, do you, um, is there any reason that you were so angry at your mother and your sister? Uh, I don't know, I, uh, I wasn't. It's weird. I wasn't even really angry with them. It just kind of happened. I've been kind of uh, planning on uh, killing for a while now. The, the two of them or just anybody? Pretty much anybody. Why? I don't know. I... Uh, I I don't really like uh, people's uh, kind of attitude. Right. I think they kind of, they're very, uh, like, you know, emotional, I don't know, verbally rude to each other and stuff like that. Right. And, uh, I don't know. They're, it's okay. It's just my family, I don't know, they're just kind of really, I, I guess this is really selfish to say, but to me, they, I felt like they were just suffocating me in a way. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I think I'm, obviously, you know, I'm pretty, uh, I guess, evil, but uh, that's, you know, whatever. Okay. Sorry. Are, no, don't be sorry. It's all right. I'm listening. Okay, you have my undivided attention. Uh, were your mom and sister in their beds? No. Uh, uh, this this is really going to mess me up for the, you know, in the future. Uh, see, my sister, I cut 
tell my sister that my mom needed her. Mm -hmm. She was in her room, and she came out of her room, and uh, I, I shot her, and she rolled down the stairs, and I shot her again. And then I went down, and I shot my mom about maybe three or four times. But I'll never forget this. Uh, okay, that's fine. My my uh, sister, she she came down the stairs and she was screaming, and I was telling her that I'm sorry, but to just hold still. Mm -hmm. That you know I was just gonna make it go away, you know. But she just kept on freaking me out. But finally, she fell down and I shot her in the head about probably three times. So they're both downstairs. Uh, yes. Okay, where are you? In the kitchen. Okay. You're not sitting by the gun, are you? No, it's about like uh, 10 or 15 feet away from me. Um, That's all right. Where's your dad? He's out of town. Do you know where he is? Out of town? Washington, D.C. Okay. And uh, to, for, I guess, future reference, I don't really want to see any of my family members, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, like it and visiting or whatever. I, I don't know how it works or anything, but I I just don't want any type of visitors. I don't want to see. Okay. Where do you go to school, Jake? Uh, well, I used to go to Leo High School, mm -hmm. but now, now I'm, I'm just kind of being homeschooled. Yeah. Yeah. So there's just um, you and your sister and your mom and dad in the house live well, there? Well, no, my dad's out of town. Well, yeah, but normally it's just your mom and your oh. sister and your dad and you. Yeah, and my grandpa and grandma, they live across the street. And my si oh, my oldest sister, she lives with my grandparents, and uh, I have another sister, uh, and she's out in college. She is going to come out to visit us tomorrow. Uh, okay. You don't want to hurt yourself, do you? A little freak, freaked out about guns now. Oh, sure. But you don't want to um, hurt yourself. Uh, I don't know. I, I definitely, you know, I, I assure you, I definitely don't like myself, you know. I, but I'm just so freaked out by guns now. And just to let you know, like, I, 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 I hate the feeling of killing someone. I, you know, uh, it. <clears throat> I'm gonna be messed up. <laughs> there, there are people that will help you. Oh God. Well, you just take a deep breath. We have deputies coming, and they're going to help you. We're here to help you too. Okay. Um. We're going to help you. We're not going to hurt you. All right. I understand if y'all want to, you know. No, we're not going to hurt you. We're there to help you, Jake. All right. All right, that's the everybody thinks that you know we want to do bad things, but we don't. We want to help people. Right or wrong, we want to help people. And we're going to help you. Okay, do you understand that? Yeah. We're also here to help. Okay. 
Jake, where is the kitchen in the house? Is it the back of the house? Yeah, kind of the, to the back, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, we're talking with our sergeant now. He's almost at your house. But we'll probably, what I'll probably ask you to do, Jake, is when he get there, is turn your porch light on. Alright. Okay. Okay, and what he'll probably do is ask you to come out. Okay? Okay. Okay. So you'll be all right. You're going to be all right. Okay? All right. Okay, I'm going to stay on the phone with you, though, and talk with you. That's okay. And you can talk to me. I'll listen. Is there anything you want to talk about? No, not really. Okay. What's your grandfather's or grandparents' last name? Stevens. Stevens? With a V or a PH? What's that? Stevens. S T A V E N S. Okay. Okay. What's your grandpa's first name? Jim. Jim. And grandma? Uh, Diane. Diane. Do you, is it a gated community? Is there a gate? Uh, yes. Uh, do you want the password? Yes, please. Wrong radio. Okay, do you have a driver's license? No. No, no driver's license? What's your date of birth, honey? Uh, 1995. Month? Uh, May. May and the date? May 22nd. May 22nd, 1995? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sure you've got some preliminary notifications you have to make. Uh, if you wait till we're not on scene yet, and we'll let them know. It's going to be all right. It really is, okay? All right. But I'm going to stay on the phone with you. They'll be there shortly. It won't be long now. That's your call. Yeah, just follow your protocol. Ours is we got to wait until we get on scene. Call 434 received. Call 434, are you en route to the 12 to assist? Jake, would you mind going to the front door and turning the porch light on or any lights that you have outside? Yeah, I, I, I turned them on. Okay, okay. Call 414, or correction, call 404. My caller has turned the front lights on for you.
Are you okay, Jake? I'm just, uh, I'm just thinking about my sister. Yeah. How old is she? She's uh, 15. 15? Yeah. Um, she, she was, I don't know, she had a really sweet side, but, you know, she was kind of, she was kind of racist and, I don't know, kind of written. Re- rude to me sometimes, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, how long ago did this happen, or how long ago did you you shoot your sister and mom? Just a little while ago? Yeah. Like when you called? 30, 30 minutes ago. About 30 ago. minutes ago? About 30 minutes ago. Okay. You'll be all right, Jake. Okay? You'll be all right. I'm, I'm like, really worried about, like, you know, like, nightmares and stuff like that. <laughs> Um, Are there any type of medication for that and stuff? Well, I I think there is. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but, you know, um, the the justice system. And I'm sure your family will get you the support you need. I don't mean to sound like a wimp or anything, but, you know, this is, (laughs) wow. I've never, like, done anything violent in my whole life, you know. You don't sound like a violent person. No, you don't. But there, um, help will be provided for you, medical and psychological. That will be provided to you, okay? All right. So you don't have to worry about that right now. Take deep breaths for me, okay? You're doing fine. In through your nose and out through your mouth. So you don't hyperventilate, okay? All right. And that'll slow down your heart rate, too. I'm sure it's just jumping all over in your chest. There you go. A couple more. Good. That sounds good. You sound a lot calmer right now. Just keep deep, taking deep breaths. And it'll keep the anxiety down. Are there any cars in your driveway, Jake? Uh, no. No cars in the driveway? Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Deep breaths, honey. In through your nose, real deep. I just, I just thought it'd be quick, you know. <laughs> I, I I didn't want them to feel any pain. That's why I used the gun. <laughs> okay. But it was it, it was like everything went wrong. <laughs> it, it's all right. 
keep breathing for me. Okay, just in through your nose, real slow out through your mouth. Couple more deep breaths for me. There you go. Real deep in, real slow and real deep. Jake, my officers are almost there. Would you be willing to walk out on your own? Uh, yes. Yes? Uh, I, yes. Uh, uh, I guess I should tell uh, I forgot uh, before I called. Yes. The gun on the counter, uh, for some reason, when I put it down, it was loaded, just uh -huh. to let y'all know. Okay, that's fine, as long as it's on the counter. Yeah, it's on the counter, I swear. All right, I, I believe you. Okay, they'll be there shortly, but I'll stay on the phone with you until, you know, it's time for you to walk out, okay? All right. Are you on, a, on your home phone? Uh, yes. Is it cordless? Uh, yes. Okay. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. You're doing good. What color is your house, Jake? Red brick? Yeah. Okay. Red brick? Okay. Okay. Okay, Jake, what I want you to do is after we get through talking, I want you to put the phone down and leave it in the kitchen. You don't have to hang it up, okay? But I want you to walk outside, but when you're walking through the house and outside, stay visible. You know, don't hide behind any furniture. Open the front door. Do you have a, a glass screen door or a glass door or just the front door? Uh, you know, just the front door. Okay. When you open the front door, step back, put your hands behind your head and slowly walk outside, okay? Or keep your, I'm not behind your hand, but keep your hands up in the air. Just walk very slowly and walk outside, but keep your hands visible. All right, sweetie? All right. Okay, go ahead and put the phone down and do it. And then just listen to what Sergeant Fletcher has to say. He's very appreciative that you're willing to come out on your own. He thinks that's great, all right? All right. And I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right, honey. You. You're welcome. Uh, yeah. I don't get to lay it down. It's open. The line's open. Or close to it. I don't know how big the house is. It's in the call notes. 